How are we going, everybody? Now, it's very, very late that we're filming this at the moment, so it's around 8.30, quarter to 9 at night. I got back late um, from doing some pickups and deliveries. Now, when I say deliveries, it doesn't mean I'm delivering to homes, so people who are sending out emails and messages wanting me to come to your house, love to, to have a visit, but I'm not doing delivery, so I'm not a career driver. There's just been a couple of occasions where it suited my destination. Anyway, back to here. I just got back here to have a look around and I was going to demonstrate a couple of things. If I could get you to follow me along. These tomatoes over here is what I'm going to do in the morning and I might do a live feed with that. These have taken off again and you can't see them and they're a little bit dry because I watered early in the morning and it got up to 33 degrees today. See this little bit of cupping here? That's caused from dehydration. Basically, it needed some more water. Now, it's way too late to be watering your plants at this time of the night because the heat is not there. The sun's gone, so it's not going to dry up. And that's where septoria leaf spot and other you know, diseases start to occur. And you, don't, you want to avoid that. These plants will be mighty fine overnight. Um, <laughs> I'm looking around, I actually see parsley wilted. That tells you how dry it is. I don't know how you can see that. It's a bit dark. So these are all going to get a good soaking in the morning and I'm going to use our biostimulant which could be the liquid gold or eco butch. Both of them have a wonderful uh, ability or properties to enhance microflora in your soil. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the builder frame to build a nice square structure over the top like a canopy and then we're going to put a sheet of concrete mesh over the top so we can hang our tomatoes and string them back up so i've let them ramble a bit on the ground at the moment which is fine for the short term but now it's time to get them up honestly folks i did not think these plants were going to make it through after the two hailstorms that they experienced and those flash floods that we had so they have come back good i mean this this is how big they were before they got smashed about a month ago the first time they got down to the ground and now they're back up again no fruit obviously because they had to put their flowers and growth on again um, once we build it I actually I might actually film it I might do a live feed at the same time I don't know check out our website facilitiesgarden.com look out for the uh, build a frame segment that I'm going to do on this tomorrow morning sometime or after you watch this uh, and facilitiesgarden.com me Vasily I'm going to go to bed now good night Maresi. Bye.